Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone. Presented here our product innovation, bio, asphalt, from palm oil to green road. The high demand for petroleum products, including asphalt, has resulted in depleted petroleum reserve, increased energy costs, decline in the quality of pavement that lead to pavement failure and contribute to pollution caused by the refinery of oil. Therefore, this research was conducted to investigate the performance of bio-asphalt technology as an extender of asphalt and in asphalt mixture. The materials used in this study were palm kernel oil polyol, PKOP, 8100s penetration grade asphalt, and diphenylmethane diisocyanate, MDI. Monoster polyol PKOP was produced from palm kernel oil with processing of polycondensation and polyesterification. The proposed PKOP was blended with the 8100s penetration grade asphalt or control binder BB, to produce the bio-asphalt with the ratio of 40 60ths weight of BB to PKOP MDI. The BA was prepared by heating both the bio-oil and BB to a temperature of 110 degrees Celsius, after which they were blended at 120 degrees Celsius in for 60 minutes in a shear mixer at a mixing speed of 1000 revolutions per minute. The asphalt mix design was based on the superpave volumetric mix design. The mixing and compaction temperatures were determined based on the results of the viscosity test for each binder. This product were tested for asphalt testing and asphalt mixture testing. Results for penetration test showed that the values for BA is higher than the value for 8100s penetration grade asphalt binder, which indicate that this blend has higher stiffness. While, the values for BB and BA were 46.5 and 45.5 degrees Celsius respectively and is within the 8100s asphalt specification. When the mixing and compaction temperatures were evaluated using rotational viscometer, it was found that the temperatures of BA are 4% lower than that of the BB, which indicate that less energy was utilized. Testing of asphalt mixtures conducted reveals that the resilient modulus values of BA showed highest value in comparison with BB, while BA proved its strength and high stiffness and resistance to permanent deformations even higher than the convention mixture. The tensile strength ratio TSR, result is an indication of the HMA mix susceptibility to moisture damage. Both mixes results met the required minimum 80% TSR value as specified in AASHTOT 283. The new bio-asphalt is very compatible with the control binder BB, and it is a contribution in green technology leading to less pollution and energy usage. Added to that, the new bio-asphalt is a new technology can be utilized by official firms, research universities as well asphalt plant and contractors. This research has already published in two nose of high impact journal. Team members for this research. Research grant and thank you.